in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed god such an awesome God mm. Such an awesome God That's our testimony as a family of faith Can you lift your hands and join me worship this King Such an awesome God Such an awesome God Such an awesome God Oh yes we thank you The miracle worker The one who is changing and building people such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such You're such an awesome God, and we give you all the praise. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. I'm gonna sing it one more time from the depths of your heart. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Father, we thank you. And tonight, Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit. two to three minutes i just want us to express our gratitude to god everyone just mention all the things the bible says count your blessings lord we give you thanks thank you those who saved from accidents those who were killed for the miracles changing impossible situations Lord we thank you we give you all the praise we give you all the praise we acknowledge you as the doer of these things no man is worthy of praise not Joshua Selman, not anyone else. There is one who is worthy of all the praise and we thank you. We praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We did everything. We did everything. We will shout for your glory. We did everything. We did everything. We will shout for your praise. Lift your hands and bless his name. We did everything. We did everything. We will shout. Lord, we are saying thank you. We are not ungrateful. We choose to see the things that you are doing in our midst. And Lord, we thank you. We will shout for your praise. One more time with everything. I will shout for your glory. Thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Shout for your Worship rises right from your spirit. Hey. One more time, just the voices. The power of God is healing people right now. Sick bodies are being healed right now. Sick bodies are being healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Sick bodies are being healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ziba Silaman Protishala. Your presence is all we have, oh God. Your presence is all we have. In you we make our boast all day long. Your presence is all that we have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. I thank you. I thank you for the gift of your presence. This is all that we have. This is all that we have. Your presence. We give you praise. We give you praise. Mighty one of Israel. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is called Emmanuel. Sing Emmanuel. Emmanuel. The mighty one in the midst of his people. Doing wonder. Or inspiring wonder. Come on, sing it to the miracle walker. Sing it to the one who can change your life. Your name is God. One more time, lift your voice and sing. Jesus blessed be the name of the Lord help us tonight oh God spirit of the living God we depend on you help us in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah greet everyone around you God bless you you're welcome Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the faithful God, hallelujah, hallelujah, is the mighty God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what we call it. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what people say. 
Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You're welcome. Good to see everyone. God bless you. Praise God. I want to talk about something very, very important tonight. But first, we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Psalm 71. We'll read this scripture and we'll arise. And I want you to pray your life out within the next five minutes. And then we will teach. Because in this season, God is determined that you must be great. And no power in existence will stop it. Psalm 71. Verse 21. Psalm 71. Whether you have a seat or not, I want you to just concentrate because the power of God will touch you. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul that's what will happen to you tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over my soul ready psalm 71 verse 21 one to read one more time one more time jump up on your feet and blast in tongues and say lord this is your word you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere you will increase my greatness you will increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness this is your word for me i receive it you receive you increase my greatness financially you increase my greatness career wise go ahead and prophesy and say lord you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness oh you will increase my greatness i will be higher than i am now something will come upon me that will take me to the next season of my life you will increase my greatness 
Pray. Tonight, God is about to mark your life and open up the portals for a new season. He said, Thou shalt increase my greatness. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me. Lord, we receive your word as a house. You will increase our greatness. 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 Maka parata bosho to praise. Sete kariata baladala. Hallelujah. Isaiah 54. Shekata tabaka tabaladaba. Isaiah 52. 54. Isaiah 54. I'll read verse 1. You read verse 2 and then we'll read verse 3 together. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou who did not travel with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Verse 2. Are you ready now verse 3 read it as a prophecy to yourself for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited lift your voice and say i am breaking limits i am breaking forth come on prophesy koinonia i am breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit Nothing limits me. Pray inside and outside. I'm breaking forth. This is the word of the Lord. I'm breaking forth. On the left. Breaking forth. On the right. I'm breaking forth. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm breaking for Leke Prete Ketea Zetete Pakari Abahai We are breaking forth by the power of the Holy Spirit Hallelujah Hallelujah Ay, 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 ay Seka Barada Balada Bakate Brescia Ezekiel 47 Sita Baka Prende Kebashita Palada Bahai Ah, before I teach tonight, I have come to prophesy. Mande brandi shalakata. Zike preti shabaladabai kanda preti shata. Honestly, I prophesy to you that this is the season that you will begin to break limits. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy. I prophesy upon every area of your life. It's time to move to the next level. It's time to move to the next level. Break barriers, break barriers, break barriers, ancestral barriers, break limitations that came with your lineage. I prophesy to you, rise up. This is your season for your head to be lifted up. This is your season. You will shine like the star. You will shine like the star. Rise up to your destiny. Answer the prophecy of your name. I prophesy to you. Arise. Shine. Your light is come. In this season. Arise. Shake up the dust. Arise. Stop crying. Shine. It's your season to shine. The Gentiles will come to your light. They are kings to the brightness of your rising. I prophesy, you are marked for shining. Arise and shine. Shekapa babakata baladaba. Zembredika shibaladaba. Somebody is leaving his current level. Let me tell you, listen. I prophesy to you. 
that the level you are now there is a hand that will pick you tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ and when they saw Saul, they said is Saul also a prophet what suddenly happened a man who left as a house boy returned back with an anointing i pray in the name that is above all names those who have laughed at you this is the season they will see the glory of god arise those who have mocked your god i prophesy this is the season you will arrive those who have said it's impossible may the hand of my god lift you from where you are to where you need to be hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph a man of great destiny was locked up in a pit but the bible says the king sent for him let me tell you when the king sent for you no power in existence has the ability to stop you when the king if a messenger sends for you is all right but when he said the king sent for joseph tonight my god is sending for you it's time for your destiny to arrive the king is sending for you the king is sending for you hallelujah Ezekiel 47 listen 11 times in my dream the Lord kept telling me is the season of breaking forth for God's people 11 times 11 times I have never had such an experience 11 times the Lord kept speaking to me that go and prophesy that is the season that's why i came with that verse you can choose to believe it because you see when many people hear the word they are just those who just stand but there are others who say lord this is it this is my word i take it i receive it it is my word ezekiel 47 i'll just share this and we'll pray i want your spirit to be fired up tonight afterwards he brought me again to the door of the house and behold what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward and the forefront of the house stood towards the east and the waters came out from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way outside into the outer gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters from the right side now listen it says and when the man that had the line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits that's a level and he brought me through the waters and they were to my ankles again everybody say again oh the last lifting is not the last one the bible says again the word of the lord is coming again for many of us the last time it came was years ago it says arise shine not because there is light the light has come to you when the light comes to you you must arise hallelujah again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters and the waters were to my knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through and the waters were to my loins afterwards he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river i could not pass for the waters had risen waters to swim and rivers i could not pass over oh the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ hold hands with somebody 
and we are going to prophesy combine all these three scriptures together and shout it let the pit of hell know that is your season for lifting go ahead and prophesy it's my season of lifting it's my season of breaking forth it's my season of life it's my season of dominion by the power of the holy ghost Prophesy, break it forth in every area of your life. I'm breaking forth spiritually. I'm breaking forth financially. hallelujah hallelujah let's take one more scripture revelation chapter 3 man take up abakata labakata revelation chapter 3 from verse 8 is projected are you ready one to read stop it says i know your works in other words i've been watching you although things are not working i watch the way you praise me through the pain he said i know your works and as a result behold see i have set before you an open door he said no man no man no government no devil of darkness can stop it lift your voice and prophesy the door is open for me that prison door is open in the name of the lord jesus shake it take it hey. sister receive it for your marriage that door is open receive it for your finances receive it for your career the door is open the power that will stop you must bow tonight pray through more scriptures Isaiah 45 Isaiah 45 I'll read verse 1 and 2 and then I want you to read verse 3 from the depths of your heart Isaiah 45 thus saith the Lord unto his anointed Joshua Selman whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates. He says, and the gates shall not be shut. Verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. You are ready to read your prophecy now. Verse 3. Shake it, baba, baba. I'm bring the second neighbor He said, and I will give you the hidden riches of secret places. Lift your voice and pray and say, Lord, I'm ready to receive. Your word says you will smash the dead and you will give me the hidden riches of secret places. Come on, break 
koinonia. The meeting is already on. Pray. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. The last scripture, Isaiah 43. Hmm. Isaiah 43 from verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. How can a man make way in the sea? Hallelujah. Verse 17. Who bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power? They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. And they are extinct, they are quenched as a weak. Verse 18 is a prophecy to someone. He said, remember ye not the former things. Forget about the disappointment of yesterday. Forget about who said what. Forget about what did not work. Are you hearing me? Forget about the result of yesterday. Forget about what the doctor said. He said, remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Why? Verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Oh yes, he will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. And streams in the desert. I'd like you to lift your voice and say, Lord, I forget about the failures of yesterday. I forget about the failures of yesterday. In the name of Jesus. What the Lord will do will surpass what you expected Him to do. Pray. I remember not the disappointment. I remember not the failure. Go ahead and prophesy. It's a new season. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Receive it as a prophecy. Hallelujah. May your ears hear it. May your eyes see it. And may your hands handle it. I prophesy one more time. May your ears hear about it. May your eyes see the miracle. And may these hands that are lifted. May these hands handle it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give God a shout of praise and be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Once in a while, God gives us prophetic words like this to shake off every unbelief. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. One of our passions as a ministry, aside from helping people experience intimacy with the holy spirit one of our passion is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom everybody say the principles of the kingdom one of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of god is a system that is built on definite structures For me, that was the ultimate confirmation that God is a just God. Hallelujah.
the bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom earns the right to walk in certain strange order of graces and blessings and may that be your portion tonight in the name of jesus christ so tonight i want to share with us something when the lord gave me the word that he's increasing and expanding our greatness i knew at once that my job is to prepare so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that god is doing hallelujah thank you jesus you will be lifted in the name of jesus christ tonight i want to share a very simple spiritual principle and i will tell you why certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it if you listen if you if you listen and understand what i will teach tonight truly your path will be as a shining light we have prayed we have spoken the word but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word say amen and tonight i want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle write it down faithfulness 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 that spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other faithfulness i want to show you a powerful formula part of the construction of the kingdom of god this principle was put there and if you know how to walk it then you will keep rising everybody say faithfulness the first point i want you to know tonight is that it is god's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives it is god's desire for everyone everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online it is god's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness is god's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another it's important that you know that it is god's desire there are people who do not believe that it is God's desire for them to experience the blessings of God to rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other say it is the desire of God to see me increase hallelujah but then this these greater levels that we talk about doesn't just come just because of prayer or prophecy alone there are kingdom principles that we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good but i, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write i want to be very simple so that every one of us 
will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards god be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards god towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that god himself called one of the names of god is faithful he is not just he doesn't just have faithfulness he is faithful that is the quality of god that makes him trustworthy it is the faithfulness of god i remember preaching a message was it last year or year before last faith in the faithfulness of god hallelujah to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy Please, I want you to pay attention tonight. This simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next. But tonight, as light comes, you will arise in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen the blessings of god upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of god the anointing of god the grace of god comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of god come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one i just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah Matthew 25 Matthew 25 very interesting parable that Jesus gave verse 14 jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the bible is not a storybook the bible is the wisdom of god and if you follow through especially the teachings of jesus you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom the way the kingdom was supposed to function verse 14 it says for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man all right traveling into a far country and he called his servants three people please 
three people come you are the servants just stand three people where's the third person just stand face the congregation for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them goods look up the bible says they are his servants that means he has been watching them I, is that true do you agree with me for them to be his servant it means they had a period of time when they were serving him and while they served him he kept watching and on the strength of his judgment and his findings next verse and unto one he gave what five talents right unto the second he gave what two talents and to the third he gave what what was the factor it says according to their several ability in other words their capacity to manage that resource are you following me now not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one he says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and hid the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 he says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20. behold i have gained besides them five talents more let's see what the master said verse 21 and the lord said unto him well done good and did he say good and hard-working servant good and faithful servant thou has been what faithful are you seeing now that's the quality i gave you certain gifts i gave you certain opportunities i gave you certain anointings I gave you certain graces i connected you with certain people he said you have been faithful over a few things what's the reward it says i will make you ruler over what many things did the guy pray for it did he fast for it he just showed himself faithful and the lord said i'm ready to take you in other words your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level enter thou into the joy of the lord 22 he who had received two talents came and said you did this and that and that verse 23 the lord said unto him also same word well done good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over what this is jesus teaching he's teaching us how the kingdom works let's see what happened to the third person 24 
and he which had received the one talent came look at the guy this is the one talent guy now just, just watch carefully he said lord that's him talking now after a long time of god entrusting him with an anointing after a long time god gave him five members and gave him one year and kept watching what he was doing with the five members are you getting my point he kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you are a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said it, it, it was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finished his own number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now it says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your thing wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent ah. let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sow not and gather where i have not sown what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me oh god give me talent give me church god gave you two members now you are complaining who pursued you who put a gun and said enter ministry hallelujah thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i would have received it with interest verse 28 therefore listen this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful he says take therefore it's not only the devil that takes from people it's in your bible god can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what in other words take from the one who is least faithful are you getting my point now and give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful listen all the three were servants all the three were emojis all the three were graduates right but over time the master kept studying their lives and he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate 
we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadijat giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sis. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand i told you the blessings of god always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet you see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you he says only a matter of time i'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how god blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of god is someone hearing what i'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light i'm sure they are working on it hallelujah it's a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah i know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh, uh, unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen i learned this in a very painful way look up please i want to talk to you never try to lift a man that god has not lifted you will be fighting god and you will be an enemy of god and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like uh -uh. oh god but this sister is faithful god you said you should have blessed her and god is saying leave me alone i'm the one who sees the heart of men listen if god does not lift anybody leave them there are you getting what i'm saying many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people you see a man of god and you say after two years your church is still five members Abba, oh God, boy, you are anointed you are such a nice brother you greet every sister that comes and god is saying continue talking there i know why i kept five people then you will see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious and god blesses the person i say god this thing i think we need to coordinate this god is saying who is the lord is somebody learning something tonight say faithfulness say it again faithfulness the blessings of god always come in levels that means whatever level god gives you the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say oh god when will it come when will that anointing come when will they start putting water for come, come and carry this my water and bring oh yeah now bring this my water some of you when you saw them putting the water you were just looking and say ah when will my turn come it will never come till you stop thinking about it hallelujah when you see the people serving it you just laugh 
and in your mind you're already wishing oh lord give me a church give me a ministry end this my inferiority complex oh lord and god is just watching you he said you think the kingdom is a place of joke see that that's what that's what some of us you know ah yeah the things that people think about in the house of god as a hot message like this is going on there are many people looking at so many things being distracted at so many things hallelujah faithfulness you came into a church and they say okay join the workers say join which kind of workers i was bible study secretary in my 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 local assembly i even led the choir you are now giving me chair to clean god didn't send me that i would do that one no give me something that is charismatic evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene hallelujah and then you will find out that you can be in that church with them god trains you at that season he will build you there is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free god is building you are you getting my point when you prove yourself to be faithful one day god will come to you and say you have been faithful you are always cleaning chairs you are coming early by two o'clock you come nobody knows you but you are cleaning the chairs and as you are cleaning the chairs you are saying oh lord i thank you those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed somebody may look at you and say sister if it's husband you want come for miracle service you know that's how people talk once they see commitment in the house of god they say the way this sister is working i'm sure there's one brother that is i have must it be so or when a brother is doing something he says he's looking for pastor the way this guy is doing his pastor is looking for commit yourself to be faithful i've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man i don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there Emmanuel Amechi Ani. I'll never forget his name. They started the church in a hotel not too far from our house. And they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard. He was part of those who brought somebody. So when the church started, they said I should come and play keyboard. When I came to the church, no choir, no nothing. I would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church i've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching one fanta bottle fanta and one cassette and i accepted it with gratitude in fact it was my father started getting concerned because i would go to a local church i would come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure hallelujah there are people who will never walk in a place faithfully their job is to observe what is wrong why is this lady always looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem Shabi, you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing whatever says you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down then that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left 
say lord what are you saying say turn left it's time for you to change levels and the sister is just sweeping her thing i'm serving the god of miracles i know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to him i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there binga they'll play the guitar and she'll come and lead worship i will never forget one day i lashed them can you remember the day i lashed you seriously very seriously they were not serious with their work and i came that night from i came from the throne room with such an anointing and when i came you know it's not my fault jesus entered the temple when he saw what was going on in the temple say it's the zeal of the lord and that day i made sure that i told them before the meeting they must pray for one hour pray in tongues for one hour clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear God has honored her today i'm saying this when you see god lifting people in spite of your criticism keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing bless you my dear. are you getting my point now say lord i receive grace to be faithful god gave you an anointing you can't heal any sick body but he gave you grace to preach you have refused to preach you don't do any evangelism see i'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power Haba, I, I let, let me shine too when i pray let the person fall how can i be frustrating myself i'm talking the guys agree with me i'm quoting a scripture he's responding back lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference that's what you want And God is watching. God is saying, look at, this is the level of grace that I gave you. And this is what you are doing with it. Remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level. That's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit. You can see a man will come and in one year, he has entered some levels. And you have been there for three years. You get the same job in the same office other people are eyeing the boss shouting there and there this boss likes women the other one is saying lord i thank you for the privilege although they are paying me twenty thousand, i know it cannot do anything i thank you and i'll be faithful the other one is saying we wicked boss you give us twenty thousand. we are here walking you are using a phone of two hundred thousand. you are there grumbling and god is watching you hallelujah do you know god watches your works as you serve as you are faithful god gave you a little level when i started out i didn't start as anointed as this it would have been witchcraft if i started like this line upon line faithfulness i remember when we were very few those who were around one day we went for evangelism in jamaa hospital we went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of christ you're not ready to start small some of you the way you start is true that god has called you in the ministry and you you've seen the stadium you've seen yourself packing wheelchairs and you will never start small you want to start from the stadium one foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to the spirit of god led them to hold one crusade what's the name of that place where they play golf on your way to huh? polo field i said polo field as if i don't know god you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said god gave us an instruction he said i saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying i said calm down polo field god gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom 
and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of god that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given god will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say i receive grace to be faithful say it i receive grace to be faithful there are many of you i'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing god gave you you started business god gave you fifty thousand you are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the fifty thousand you bought clothes you bought phone you are shining and you say i'm a kingdom financier god said no way you can sing songs about million you can draw dollars on your pillow you will never be a kingdom millionaire but god trusts you with fifty thousand and you say lord out of this that you have given your kingdom your kingdom and god says you did this for me and then god will test you and say lay down that isaac and you say lord it's painful but let it go god will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah god made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this ogasa this your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you are you are you getting what i'm sharing tonight it's a very serious message be faithful stop eyeing a high position somewhere be faithful be faithful hallelujah jesus started with a few disciples and then there were so many people then there was a crowd it didn't just start with a crowd financially God wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said Josh in my presence somebody bought a Jaguar a new Jaguar 18 million tear rubber hi I said mm -mm, this is the devil here this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own God gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> especially when you see ladies you say come and push this golf out of here now as if it's not your own this is what society has made us to become and god is watching you yes you have to open the door from outside but give thanks lord i give you thanks it's better than a bicycle i glorify you i'm not ashamed of it and you get up in the morning you are cleaning it when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if he cannot carry people he can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it 
God gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking you say keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes God gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say Lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving God is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful I receive grace to be faithful that's what I, I tell God all the time this work this little work that God has given I, I, I take it that's why I take my job seriously every time you see me I, I'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me I put a sense of urgency time to pray when I'm praying for you nobody disturbs me I shut up the place and I'm praying I say Lord you have committed these people and it's my job to pray bless them even those who are not tightened let the tight of the house cover for them while they listen to the message you have not tightened for one year and the heavens are still opening over you let me tell you that this these prayers that we are praying a day will come God will shift you out alone and then you say so this is how the heavens have been faithfulness God gave you the opportunity to play keyboard. You don't rehearse. You are not serious. You are not improving yourself. You are there angry with anybody who can. See, there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness. We never appreciate what, gives, what God gives us. We always want more. And we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful intimidated by people and we oh god i want this i want this and many of us get into all kinds of things that's what has made many men of god to get into witchcraft the truth is the honor they want to get is going to come how many of you know that all of us here will be blessed we are going to be blessed the millions will come a day will come the things you admire now see I used to think I like food. It's a lie. I don't like food. Lack. Everybody say lack. There is a there is a way lack can hit you. It will create lust in you. Anything you see, it must finish before you rest. That's what was happening to me. Listen, the things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with God. If you can be faithful, you will walk in it. All these cars, you see, an average young man under pressure. People lie everywhere. Say, I'll ask them, where are they walking? Say, I'm, I'm walking with one uh, uh, construction. What is the name? I say, it's a construction company. I shot a Abuja and uh, Zaria. So, what are you doing now? I came to solicit for another job. Is it true? It's a lie. What is pursuing you? impatience and lack of faithfulness whereas you are working in a cafe that's the construction company you are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job don't say i'm managing you are not managing you are creating a report card that will bless you hallelujah i'm in a cafe now how much do you earn i earn five thousand say you what kind of why are you falling your hand like this no problem say if it's five thousand let me give you your salary for this month and people intimidate you no problem he should carry his money and keep showing everything you just be faithful sister till now you cannot afford a withdrawal of one five no problem no problem i can plant i'm using my natural hair but i love god and i'm faithful i won't follow any man because of money my god will give it to me one of the miracles god did in my life is that i never this craving this craving for material things that you see somebody and say oh god if you don't take me there no one day i went to buy suit 
and somebody said this is the fashion in town i said i don't know who are the day i will buy what i want don't put any pressure on me who are the day what fashion where i buy what is good i buy what i like i pay for it if i cannot pay for it i go and wait patiently many of us there are shops you cannot pass right now you have eaten almost one quarter of everything there your money is not enough to buy it but you must buy it every time you pass i want black currant how much 600 how much do you have 15 i say just give me because we cannot be faithful at this level everybody say i receive grace to be faithful refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them when it was time for, for people to be blessed Eliab came out broad chested God said no way these are not the kind of people I'm not looking for warriors on the throne I'm looking for faithful servants you are in the worship team they never gave you a song to back up but that I mean to, to lead but when you stand here huh? And you are faithful you are singing from the depths of your heart you don't just grumble and say this going on yourself the way they do their things just a few people who are shining once you hear people complaining like that the truth is is they want themselves to be in that position they will use a third party statement they say why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front once you hear people talk like that they are not lawyers they are not advocating for anybody they are speaking for themselves it's not like i'm speaking about myself or it's not me I, who asked you say i receive grace to be faithful god wants to increase us financially but what have you done with the finances that god has given you you keep wasting money around throwing money everywhere doing things that do not glorify god and then you stand and believe that god is going to carry one billion or ten million or hundred million and give to you and then you see god bless someone else and you are like ah god i receive grace to be faithful lord i thank you if it is to sweep the psalmist said i i rather be a doorkeeper a doorkeeper God is speaking to someone tonight I want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing I gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of God not because they are not tithing but they are not faithful they are not faithful at all the members raise offering the men of God misuse the money they do anything they want to do with it the man of God is celebrating a birthday party and they, they waste so much amount and the ministry is just starting they don't have that kind of money you see that and we put pressure we men of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand. make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness 
is seen accountability God says you are ready to move higher who is God speaking to tonight you've been unfaithful God gave you one room you never cleaned it for once everywhere in the room is leaking including under the house you have never said let me call somebody to cement he says is it my property this pq is it my property and you want god to honor you you want god to bless you hallelujah your neighbor always speaks you and brings you for koinonia you've never said let me contribute small foil two thousand naira you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful god will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i have not been faithful you want to rise higher uh -uh. you watch television and you see great people like david oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming saying let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now see what you are thinking say ah a man with this crowd the money you carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship and you see four people four committed people didn't i tell you to bring five five people why have stand up why have you not brought five five people you must bring five five people have you been faithful the the five people are not learning anything for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation and god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god but god knows for the rest of my life i remain a servant serving the house of god forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocols standing following me ah when koinonia started i used to climb bike machine during miracle service there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was the protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climb bike i enter taxi Some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go and say no let them not know that i didn't come with my car and you start explaining to everybody my car was faulty who asked you enter the bus and go home enter the bus and go home everybody knows you are still rising there is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there we are all young people rising it's just that some are faster than others what's the embarrassment about somebody comes to your room and it's only gary you have you are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself bring it out 
and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been thou forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning you must sing it from your heart Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady you don't want to fall your hand that is foolishness of the highest order the person who played the fatherly role of jesus was a carpenter are you getting my point get this childishness out of your life there are some of you here the work that you do you wash clothes for people is better than prostitution is better than stealing learn dignity in labor be faithful there you're working and they're giving you 200 naira is small but the 200 naira is with dignity there are many of you god gave you an idea you and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed you laughed at god like sarah he said god if you don't if you cannot bless me i can wait there are some of us here god told you i will take you far but start selling used clothes you said ha ah, god used clothes i have never worn a um these clothes that the one uh, what they call it hallelujah i only wear designers why will I now begin to sell used clothes? Oh Lord, you are falling my hands. And God will say, you never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom. Some of you, are, you are not in any unit, not in your church, not in Koinonia. You don't serve, you don't do anything. Your job, and you've been coming here for a long time. Your job is to sit down, watch others, and complain about what is not done. Do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would lie us with decoration Please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of God nobody needs to know you see take what I'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show God that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of God faithfulness God gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of God you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of God and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of God I tell you Papa Adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here 
I choose to be faithful. I will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level. That's why you can listen to a man. It's not like he has so much rema or he has so much, but he will just say, may God increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness. And some people will come on, on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody. This is the place of the anointing. You will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness. This morning, I was just worshipping. And I said, Lord, will you bless your people? Worship was just playing. Early in the morning. And I was crying. Tears were coming out. I said, Lord, there are people coming tonight with burdens. There are people coming, trusting God. A lady came in from Joss. I'm sure she's around. This lady took a step of faith. Nobody, no place to stay. She just came in. She said, I'm tired of what is happening in my life. How could I come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise? That's why we pray. That's why I take this work that God has given because I know that before I was born, God has been blessing people. And if I'm not serious, he will get me out of the stage. And you see, let me tell you, Dr. Paul and Encher said, it is God who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot. When the pot thinks I'm the only one, God will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water. Never find yourself thinking God cannot do without you. That is a big deception. Oh, God can do without Joshua Selman. God forbid, if I die today, ah yes, you will cry for one week. You say, why did he die? You go and listen to all my messages that I say I wouldn't die. He said, oh, he has died. After one week, case closed. You will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and I, By the time you finish the fight, something will... <laughs> ah! Thank you for this deliverance, oh Lord. I have no business in all of this nonsense. My desire is to serve you. My one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised You want the anointing be faithful you want greater levels be faithful where you are right now whatever department you are working be faithful stop complaining stop finding fault contribute your quota and god who sees what you are doing god gave us a word that is lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days god is going to be moving across this congregation checking the report cards of men let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah i told him lord whatever will change my faithfulness in service whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches oh 26 branches the man of god now has a television ah ah my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised is that you be praised God is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace. 
but you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that God can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because God will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes I worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of God pack whoever and whatever you have I love I love I love your presence I love I love I love your truth. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity, to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right two dangers or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 kaba shata baladaba is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when god has given you grace for saria pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry pride stops men from being faithful there are many churches in all kinds of death now going to television ministry that they have no business going to god has not anointed them to that level yet see if god does not send you you can still move but the question is life will ask you who is sending you many of us pride pride the humility to remain at the level that you are in where are you walking ah uh, i shuttle between zaria abuja and just what's wrong with saying god is helping me i've started and i'm in zaria i'm doing something god is faithful don't say i'm managing don't use that language what you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else we are managing with all these people 
while I'm working on another white collar job it is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level so you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing how much are they paying me in this primary school I'm teaching primary one to primary six you are teaching them much you are not faithful like David in the wilderness if you are faithful one day God can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say I once was a school teacher hallelujah a young man met me one time I looked at him I said how are you sir he said fine the way he was saying fine as if he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself I'm so so person I deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know I have the company and I'm doing this and that and that and uh, XYZ said I should meet you for XYZ and all kinds of stories and then I was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon I was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say so I receive grace to be faithful at the level that God has, given, has brought me receive grace oh God Jordan please stand up come I know when oh God listen let me tell you something I'm sorry if I pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years Jordan walked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully God was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful I will never forget when God blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but God is lifting him the last time I spoke with him he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of Jesus I receive grace to be faithful with what God has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of Jesus I receive grace to be faithful the clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what I'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient brothers the shoe you cannot buy now the dress you cannot buy now be patient that's the second reason why people the second enemy of faithfulness impatience I always preach and I say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of billions of naira today because they tried to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place I must go to GRA I must go to my Tama I must build in Lekki whereas God gave you wisdom one small place outside the town six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting you've carried listen, many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient 
a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul and i want to invite papa you god is leading you and say invite one brother in your fellowship that god is helping say, ah, which kind of brother i want the one that the, the posters very funny things people do there are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of god that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them they just want a name i brought abc i brought xyz now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping say i receive grace to be patient rise gradually i believe in faith i am a man of faith but faith is not foolishness are you getting me you rise from faith to faith you rise from stage to stage there are some of us right now you are in level one some you are in level two some god has blessed you are in level five be patient in the ark of noah the cheetah the fastest animal entered there the snail also got there it's a matter of time wherever god has not taken me i don't want any man to take me there are times i have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because i know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come and although there is room to go by the time you go you will die that's why a man of god can leave one geography go to another place and start failing and you are wondering is this not the anointed man you used to know Come on, worship with me. Hallelujah. You've won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Just that part. One more time. Hallelujah. 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 You have won the victory. your hands those of you in front i'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem we are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now never forget this day for as long as you live some of you are rededicating your lives some of you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time i don't care what category Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I surrender my life to you. I repent of my old ways. I accept the free gift of eternal life. I receive it in my spirit. And I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life 
from today I go forward ever and backward never Satan stay away from my life I've made my choice Jesus is my savior I've made my choice Jesus is my Lord Father preserve these ones in the name of the Lord Jesus let this not be an emotional decision let it be a sincere decision from the depth of your heart and I break the power of sin over your life the weight that doth easily beset you I crush it right now in the name of Jesus I release you the righteousness of God is at work in your life and for those of you who have come sick I like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life hallelujah now in one minute you will come back we're about to start the healing session right now so please just walk this way follow the ushers they'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service celebrate them everybody <laughs> celebrate them koinonia young and old alike lift your hands everybody and say visit me visit me visit me pray in one minute everyone lift your hands and say lord the time has come i'm tired of this sickness the time has come i need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life please pray pray and say lord visit me visit me please ushers be fast with them be fast with them so that they can return back everyone begin to pray in the holy ghost just begin to pray in one minute Nata prata kata balada baba 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 rakata prata kata balada bas kata shikata randa kata badiana Hallelujah 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 There is nothing we can do without you Jesus reveal yourself in a mighty way let the sick be healed oh God so many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles breakthroughs marriages jobs healings and deliverances Lord we thank you for that which you will be doing be glorified be glorified be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah sorry about the congestion um, protocol and ushers please walk together to make everything fast hallelujah before we start the healing session I just want to do something very quickly it's Mike's birthday come here Mike hallelujah I told him I was going to give him a surprise hallelujah celebrate him a lovely music director hallelujah Mike we love you God bless you stretch your hands and prophesy ask the Lord to make him better than he is very faithful worker pray and bless him we speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus you will never be small we speak over your life you will do mighty things because of you the worship team will step into a greater dimension hallelujah I hear in my spirit greatness 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 
the Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you. The Lord is determined to do it. Bless his hands, O God. May this be so in his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Visit us, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my go and help me. Just play the keyboard for me. And then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's walk together now. Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place. Hallelujah. Not deliverance, impartation. God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people it's going to be a wild fire of the spirit hallelujah strings please exalted high above the worship of the people of the year I see the Lord He's a lamb upon the throne. Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen. Listen, please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing are in this place this is a very very prophetic moment now the lord is going to be moving from inside and outside and he's going to be separating certain people this is not deliverance although that can happen this is a heavy impartation the weight of god is about to mantle people in very strong ways hallelujah please lift your hands Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, all those who belong to this category, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands, my God. Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the Spirit. One, two, three, shekete, rekete, teketa, no kete. Lekete rebos outside. Bring them out. Bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Separate them, oh God. Separate them, oh God. Outside. The power of God is falling now. Outside. is hitting men right now. Like a tornado outside, outside.
there are angels outside the power of God is falling like a wildfire Second a separation, a separation. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a separation, a wild fire. Let it engulf them, oh God. Let it burn. Let the coal from the throne. Let the coal from the throne. Let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow at the back the overflow at the back outside the overflow at the back outside the fire of god is falling the overflow at the back outside the fire of god is falling there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up, come on. There's an army. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Lift your hands. God is not done yet. I told you there will be a visitation. Listen, at the count of three, many people will enter visionary experiences. Right now, vision, vision. One, two, three. Take it, take it. Vision, vision. Take it, take it. Vision. I open up prophetic realms. Take it, take it. Vision, vision, vision. Step into realms of vision, prophecy, vision, prophecy, I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, visions. Look at me, look at me. Take it now. Take it Baba. In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row now, now, this row. Take it, 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 take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every 
Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata. Rakata bande brende keta. Sopro te bende ke. Rektes kete. Rekete. 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 Rekete te te. A protoscope rekete. Rekete. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposketeta. Let the Spirit of God power break chains they will break every chain break every chain they will break every chain There is a road that the power of God is moving outside. There is a row outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now under the power of God. And it will follow to that row. Open the floodgates of heaven, O oh God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete ke te te ta. Repete ke te 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 ba. Som prete ke ta la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Sarah, the Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah, Sarah, just leave them, don't worry, don't, don't scatter what God is doing, hallelujah, God is bringing deliverance to your family, hold my hands, it ends now, 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 Delivered. I cast that devil. I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to cause spirits that are responsible for marital delay. Every spirit wife every spirit husband many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you some of you are already out you came out for impartation lift your hands at the count of three 
the fire of the spirit will be separating men every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus lord as they shout jesus i expose every devil and it leaves them forever are you ready now one two three be free now now i cause spirits i cause spirits marital delay i cause spirits every marital delay i cause you i open doors of marriages now doors of marriage be open every spell every enchantment every act of divination right now i set you on fire on fire on fire on fire on fire on fire now i challenge altars i challenge thrones i challenge spells we break every chain we break every chain we break every chain we break every chain break every chain break every chain let her go now go let her go now go be free lay your hands on your stomach God is setting you free. the devil must let you go there's someone in this room where i'm standing the power of god will come upon you now somebody in this room a strong anointing will come upon that person please speak that person right now he's coming by the power of the holy spirit there's one person it's a deliverance fire it will fall on you right now right now right now right now pick the person Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, it's time. lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? I've been at times like this. She does like 
This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. 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 Tate paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness. Out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness. Out. Out. Shekatatatababa. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight, it will catch fire this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Liver, stand up, stand up and follow me. Stand up by yourself and follow me. Stand up. Come, follow me. Stand up. Walk. Come. Come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Look at look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady. Huh? Look at, are you seeing for meeting? Look at the things that the devil has done. Bastardize this lady's life. Look at me. What's your name? Lesa. What's your name? Lesa. What's your name? Lesa. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say I am fine. fine. She literally ate her mouth and injured it like that. Look at, you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say I am fine. Say, I'm fine. It never returns to you again. Stretch your hands and say, it's over. This deliverance is over. If there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me the demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again god bless you hallelujah praise the lord i want to pray for you please take her child this is i'm seeing witchcraft the lord is showing me witchcraft People will rise in the family when they get to a point something hits them down and that's the end of it. No matter what happens this is what the Lord is showing you. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands because this is I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King let this thing end right now because this thing is not just with you alone it's with your family members. My God let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah.
Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? a lecturer this is death coming on him and we have to break it are you getting that now do you believe it if you don't believe i will just leave you before you now turn and say this person the reason why we say this is because i understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not See, God must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered. I hope you know that. The word of God is potent enough to deliver the person. You understand? But God does these things as a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. The family is about to be delivered right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. A family is about to be delivered right now. Be delivered now. I'm not speaking. Out! Now! I hear the chains. Two of you come. Are you related? Come, come, come. Two of you. Yes. What's your relationship? Eh? Is your boss? You are learning to sew in his place. Don't laugh. I don't mean love relationship. I mean, what's your relationship? Huh? Because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. Our uh, ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very... Please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. Be true. There's everybody. It's not like every... This is death. This is delay marriage. La wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you. And a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out! Something's moving. Something's changing. She's Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up 
It's time for God to step into your family. Run and come. See, I don't need to call you. Just connect by faith. God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase. Mighty increase. Coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are habal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away. And bringing serious financial increase to your family Lord confirm your word I've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of Jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby Take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus. This garment of shame. Go! Be set free, be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Eunice? Eunice. 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 Lord is ministering to me a lady called Eunice who is that please if it's your name or someone related we have to save time Eunice Gabriel 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 I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? 
final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? He's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, de did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing I cost you, be free my God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus name why are you here? why are they here? what is eh? all of you are Eunice is she married? There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you, nobody cares, nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this thing away. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal, we have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. the Lord is not even talking about you he's talking about your elder ones I've seen them it's because it's the same thing that is happening there I've taught you people bring out Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint point unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes what is happening to you is happening to her at the same time to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes 
It's the same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. outside. I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried, the blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar, the children that have been buried, I command the earth, share ye the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now, now, I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent, every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens by the anointing of the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. You will hear testimonies. They will carry the dead bodies of men. Those who are found, they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go. I command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won
everyone who is sick lay your hands there right now for time's sake we may not have everyone come out but lay your hands something miraculous will happen in this place right now wherever you are lay your hands some you're laying your hands but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands just lay your hands on your chest hallelujah now listen listen the moment i pray for you the power of god is already healing people right now check yourself the moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you maybe not everybody just run out and come and stand here there will be an explosion of miracles you must celebrate what God is doing who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established it. hallelujah lay your hands now and while Jesus was teaching the power of God was present to heal the Bible says and when the even was come they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed please take it serious this is a miracle service we don't fake it in this place a miracle is about to happen as I begin to command please check yourself start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and Lord I pray right now as I begin to declare I want you to shout a loud amen miracles are already happening in the name of Jesus blind eyes be open now blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now God is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's ulcer being healed God is healing ulcer Ulcer, you will feel fire burning on your chest. Ulcer is being healed right now. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast. The right breast. Lump in the right breast is being healed now. Lump is being healed now. I cost that spirit. I cause that spirit by the prophetic word. This lady is going to start coughing things out. She's going to start coughing things out right now. She will start coughing things out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Migraine headache. Every kind of migraine. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every respiratory condition, someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now. Every respiratory condition, heart condition, breathing problem. I command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of Jesus
there are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach I caused that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil I don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the Lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from November last year you don't need to come out from November last year you've only seen your period twice in the name of the Lord Jesus I restore order to your body now I restore order the power of God is moving to this effect I restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed I give you the praise Lord a toothache tooth problem serious tooth problem the Lord is healing it right now right now right now right now Lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now I really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since Pastor Jake is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do I need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because I know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God please come out and line up thank you Jesus worship the Lord. is falling down healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid Brought, who brought our daddy he came on his own he came on his own what's wrong sir difficult in, walking. Difficult, in walking. difficult in walking your leg what happened sir I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me. I can't weak. your leg is weak I'm going to pray for you daddy and Jesus will heal you right now hold my hand sir don't worry just sit down Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. 
Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving the miracle. In the name of Jesus. Are you seeing the power of God now? As God healed you, Daddy. God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten, everything the palmer worm has eaten. Because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October, they would have buried you first week of October. This is what the Lord is showing me. But in the name that is above all names, four years, four years now, for four years, this has been. The devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm seeing first week of October, they would have buried you. But in the name that is above all names, the Bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given. So, all oh earth, I forbid you from taking this man's body. In the name of Jesus, he will live long, he will live strong. And for every one of you praying for him, may your family members live long. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Daddy, we are going to walk one more time. Look at, look at, he's so excited. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. Come on, walk again, Daddy. Walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take him to his seat. The Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus. Worship him. Help us. Let's save him. your mom 
Mommy, where are you? Where's the mommy? Faith's mother. Where's Mama Faith? Come. I need to destroy death from your family. There is a serious yoke of death. Bring your sister. You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time. Set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft, acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They've, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Free! Now! Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now. Together with the leg issue, your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. Your leg will start moving under the influence of the Spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Hallelujah. look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand i'm seeing a coffin in the spirit they have finished this girl since last year this girl you are seeing Jesus said I am the resurrection and the life Jesus said it is there anything too hard for me to do I am there. 
father change this girl's story I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ out now out now out now in the name of Jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death i command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death i command your exodus now in the name of jesus let's save time thank you jesus free she's in the hospital set her free in the name of jesus
saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against Jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are I think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused Wash it too. are you ready now give us that song Sing anything, even if you don't know the fashion. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now? Don't 
tempt me in the name of Jesus. Don't tempt me. Oh, to a catching again. Not my fault. Sam is not around. Yeah. She hope I will give you one. Worship team, drama, be careful in Jesus' name. Hey, if we don't finish here on time, you will sleep here. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, you are <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, shall start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say, yes, he is mighty to say, be healed now, forever, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10. Just 1 to 10. If you are more than 10, keep them. 1 to 10. Please bring them out. 1 to 10. Mothers, if you are tired, give somebody to hold the child and come with it. Please, just hurry up. Let's save time while we collect it. Please. If you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Teach me how to hold them. 
before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Shaka pata balada bagada ben. Rete le banda brandosko parada balata skependi kata. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says, children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here. Please, we, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do, we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I, if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men, every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Ladies, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus everything that makes your brain dull we command that you are not dull in the name of jesus christ bring her please in the name of jesus christ baby grow in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
now if you know honestly please don't play games with God here you know that you are trusting God to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games I am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle God is a glorious God. Sing it one more time. You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming we break it from the realm of the spirit now may that married man never call you again i know you have been getting money from him but the relationship is hereby declared non and void you must choose to walk in holiness and integrity hallelujah there are people standing here that there are powers and thrones please lift your hands and horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage you are a very pretty lady but nobody can look at you the moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you something just happens and scatters it there are some of us you are guys you are, you are a hard-working and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names, listen, this is an apostolic ministry. We are not ashamed. The Bible says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom, we will preach it and we will set people free. Lift your hands. You will be very surprised. I said it at the beginning of the year that God told me there will be surprise marriages. Even people who did not believe and expect. Listen. Let me give you a revelation. My Bible says male and female, he created them. What and what? Did he say female and female? Did he say male and male? That means, ladies, there is a male counterpart for you. You believe that? I'm going to pray for the man, not a man. Are you getting me? Not one man meandering around and you say, let me manage, time is going. No. You can read a course you don't like. And manage for five years and leave you cannot manage marriage lift your hands let's first destroy these altars of Baal. see that Ababa. get ready because the power of God is about to shatter spells into pieces father everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the Lord Jesus, at the count of three, may deliverance come to you. One, two, three.
decree right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he is walking in this earth right now just like boas located root i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Raba la baka shi para gale bondo si para bale bregale lele boko sa. Raka tana da raba si te bale bondo bregale la varia da raba kasanda raba ligede. Riha tasa para bago dia de bale bregale de de boko sa ni raba da. In the raka tana ba to para raka de bale bregale la varia raba do varia. Rako to paya raka tali raba 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 da. Ende bregale lele bondo bregale do bale bregale la varia da. Raka tali raba la la varia ba de ba de. Raka la ba de varia raba raba da. Enda raka tala bara pata la bara bada raka tava hacha para bada raka tali bara baba 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 enda regelele le boko si bala bada rapato salietando ho imanda katonja ila barus aliatando igavoja ila raunda as ila paliendo resula atalia rusa indo ko iamba uada wabula ada yondelu riamula Uacha kayuna ma, ua tuya ya yamiala, ruma uba uragala, Rusia da, makondo robo koshi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for the building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise, dead spiritual lives. Let.
let it rise the grace of God comes upon families in the blessed name of Jesus we speak to barren cases family challenges in the name of Jesus it ends we speak to divorce cases aha Lord for those trusting you for you to bring back their loved ones fathers in the name of Jesus we ask that fathers come back home in the name of Jesus we call for missing people we ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the angels of God bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus and Lord we speak right now into the highway aha Lord for our loved ones traveling right now Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the hand of God will be upon them the Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we give you praise we give you glory for every prayer point here Lord he receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray and the church of God says hallelujah God's servant has prayed we convert this prayer request to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please everybody stand inside and outside please rise something must change in your life right now And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless. And this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child. He said, for many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction. And I command, receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now in every area of your life breakthrough now receive breakthrough now every limit every limit I smash it in the name of Jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command it to start working now start working now every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward there is a voice listen the Bible says in six things shall he deliver you job five he said yes seven things he said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command every scorching tongue 
against your destiny be silenced now 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 To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness record to second day reports come to survive And Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the sons of the prophet told Elisha, he said, where we meet with you is too small. Come, let us go beyond the Jordan. And the Bible says, while they were felling the tree at Jordan, the axe head fell. And they said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the prophet said, where did it fall? And he threw a stick and the earth head began to float i reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only god can change it may that god change it now every situation in your life that only god can change may that god change now change it now change it now said when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the heathen the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows and the Bible says Esther went in 
and when the king saw her he said esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life reporto soto we break protocols tonight and we command that god will take you there may my god take you there may my god take you there hallelujah and the man who was crippled from birth he needed a miracle but there was no man to help him and the bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the bible says thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about genesis 24 verse 1 and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things how many things how many things every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing the bible says naaman second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he was a mighty man the bible says but he was crippled i pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of god let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down he said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord lift up his face before you may he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace in the name of the lord jesus christ give god praise in the name of jesus hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain be